Hi, everybody. Welcome to EA Sports. A tremendous night of American Hockey League action in store for you this evening. Let's drop the puck. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Canucks start with possession as we are now underway. Carlson's going to play it against the half wall. The Eagles move the puck in the defensive zone. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Chris shot from the slot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. Colorado's won the defensive zone draw. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Takes a shot. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Colorado's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Great reach with the poke check by Nielsen. Throws it in on the breakaway. Sends the pass in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Kiro's lugging the puck. And that's poked away by Tries. From the left side, takes it at center. Scrum along the wall. Here's a short pass to Tries. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Takes the feed into the middle now. The Eagles take possession in the defensive end. And it's a quick pass to Ibao. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Moves it to the middle. opportunity of the game and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Along the boards they battle for the puck back and forth. The Canucks get a hold of it. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Burke. And he'll lug the puck back inside the defensive zone. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Here comes the officials' call. The Canucks are getting penalized for slashing. Colorado salivating with a five-on-three power play. Playing with a two-player advantage on the five-on-three is such an opportunity. But you have to have a sense of urgency that goes along with it. You don't want to be static. You do want to force the coverage to have to move a little bit. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Fires it on net. A game of inches, and he puts it off the outside of the post. A huge opportunity there, James, to get the go-ahead goal in this game. You know what that does? It creates a ton of momentum. But the pipe stops it. Tries, slides into the face-off dot, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Colorado's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. The Canucks get a hold of the puck under man. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. The Eagles will play it from the defensive zone. Solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Steve's penalty is about to expire. Dumps it in. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. Body language says it all, James. Have a look at the unit here. Every single one of them deflated. They know that they needed to score. And this is the expectation of the power play. And they go back to the bench with their heads facing their skates. Scores! The birthday boy gifting one to himself.
Yeah, he'd like more than one, though, wouldn't he, James? I mean, if it's gonna be a present, it might be a big one. Happy birthday to me! There's no way that the goaltender saw this puck. I mean, there's so much traffic net front. I mean, screens all over the place. You can see him trying to track Bob and Weave, but he can't catch up to it. The Canucks draw first blood here in period number one. Now, it's been a bit of a scrappy play going back and forth here, James, but they get up by one, and gotta wonder if it now opens the game up. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Ivan stick handling in his own zone. Now he slides it up to Foodie. Across the line and on the attack. Broken up by Sychek. Abbotsford's got the puck against the boards. Makes the save with the glove. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. The Canucks have been the dominant team here midway through the first period, and they lead it. Great poke check on the reach. Nice zone entry from the left. Ivan's coming to the side. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. Abbotsford's moving it up the ice. Sends one over. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Schooneman. Colorado's on the attack. And that doesn't reach the net. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Knocked away in the offensive zone. And makes the routine save. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Here in the back half of this period, the Canucks lead it 1-0. Hollins won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Miner's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Abbotsford's won it, now they'll go on the attack. And that goes off a body. From the right side, they gain the zone. Shot, and he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Intercepts the pass. The Eagles play it along the wing. Takes a shot, and that's blocked from someone in front. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Here's the pass, and that's stopped. Slides the puck down low. Oh, and that battle ends as the puck gets loose. Picks up the puck. Moves it quickly over to Wu. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Miner. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. There's a shot tipped in front. That opportunity's rejected. And the puck's in the low slot. The goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Moves it to Nielsen. Along the half wall with the puck. Shot! Flushes the leather. What a save by Miner. Abbotsford's got the lead here in the first as they have been the more dominant team in the offensive area. Tries has got possession. Let's see what they can do with it now. Stones him in front. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. With the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. The Eagles will play it in their own end. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Abbotsford's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they come on the attack. Pass it through, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And he shut the door on that last play. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low spot, getting in front of it and making the save. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Moves it over to Baines. 
And that was read perfectly. What a play by Booty. And they'll go off for a change after dumping it in. Here they come on the attack. They score! And it's back-to-back -back tallies. Yeah, and they've been chomping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heel. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. This is an awesome goal, James. I mean, not in terms of his prettiness, but the desperation and effort to keep the play alive. He's falling to the ice, and he's able to get his stick on it and move it over to the open player, and he's able to cash it in. Now, listen, I'm telling you right now, coaches love this. They'll bottle this up. They'll video it. They'll show it again tomorrow. Why? This is what effort looks like. Dumps it in. The Canucks have it now. Grabs it in his own end. Slick feed. Slammed into the wall. Takes it and looks ahead. Incredible reflexes on the glove saved by Silovs. The Canucks lead it here late this first period. Abbotsford's going to start with the puck in their own end. Takes the pass. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Big time save by Miner. Both under is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. And you can put a couple of these shifts together. You have your opponent on their heels, but you have to find a way to convert and drive the net. You can really sense the nervous energy here from the home fans here with this pressure. That's picked up behind the net. Here's a pass. And a big time stop there. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Moves it to the boards. And the official signaling penalty. We've got a whistle here. period number one both teams will grab a quick breather you can grab a hot dog and we'll be back with second period action in moments fans your donations have made it possible for kids in need to see their heroes live from our tickets for kids luxury box thank you for your generosity Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. The Eagles' power play continues to start the frame, and they win the draw. Abbotsford's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck and manages to clear the zone. The Eagles have it now. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Ten seconds. Delayed penalty. Landing. Wu's going to go off for a pair for charging here. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. On a 
five on three with all that ice available and the defensive coverage in the middle of the ice. You have to find a way to pull them outside just a little bit. Sometimes the shot does that. What it does, they react to the shot and the rebound. Guess what? Open lanes. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Stevens hoping for some puck luck here on this faceoff as they continue to play shorthanded. Abbotsford's won the draw in the neutral zone. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Here's a shot. Scores! They convert on the power play and get it done. And it's so important when you're on the power play to have precise execution of your passes and you're able to move the covers. That's exactly what they did and they're able to convert. Colorado's look way more engaged since the start of this period, Cheryl, and now they're starting to get some of the rewards. Well, you can certainly feel the energy. There's two trains of thought here. There's a the physical side and there's the emotional side of the game. Both are connected for them right now. Centering feed! And that Karen's off a twig in front of the net. And he slides it quickly to Yvonne. And he slides it quickly to Burke. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Redirected shot! Nice reflex by the goaltender to get his glove on that one. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is and that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Shot attempt completely fails on that. Here's a shot. And that takes guts to get in front of that one. Colorado's on the attack. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Eagles still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. Quick feed to Tuck. Oh, just a great heads up play by Wu. Quick pass to Rhodes. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Centering pass. Moves with the puck at the corner. Delayed penalty coming up here. Skates across the blue line. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely to say the least with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 one, one again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but you can also pop out below the goal line and present as a score! And the power play works to perfection as they've tied it up. Well, the power play unit knew what was at stake. They knew that they had an opportunity to get the equalizer in this game, and they executed perfectly. What I really love about this power play is it isn't predictable, which means the PK doesn't know where that puck is going. That's how you manipulate it. That's how you open up lanes. And this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice, and it's buried. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We got a tie game. Tries wins the draw inside the neutral zone. Tries it to the crease. Fires it. Center. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Into the corner of the attacking area. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. They've got to find a way to play even strength. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Well, the power play has been great tonight, and this is when you want to be on the ice. You're just chomping on the bit to get back out there. There are many days when you don't feel that way, so you got to really enjoy these ones.
Nice job to escape the zone. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Puts it on net, blocked aside. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Colorado's looking to break out. Here's a short pass to Tuff. Sends it out in front. Misses. Abbotsford's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Play whistle dead as the puck goes into the bench, and I think that woke up a few players. Tries is ready for the faceoff as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. The Eagles will start off on the attack after winning the draw. In close! Oh, he got all of it! And a save by Seelovs! I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Holland's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Moves, penalty is almost expired. Penalty is expired, both sides back to even strength. Well, just been an average night on the PK, but you know how your numbers get better? You get one right there, and they did a good job to be able to kill that one off. Still lots of time left in the period. It's all tied up. The Canucks win the draw. Great post by Burke. Oh, misses the net, and that was, what a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance, and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you got to figure he's going to put one by the Tendy. Abbotsford's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Nielsen. Puck grabbed by Dries. Moves it quickly over to Sechek. Absolutely no fear to get in front of the slap shot. Hunt's in a lot of pain here, James, as he's trying to make his way back to the bench. He was injured somewhere in the shift, showing his passion to try and stay committed to the play, but he's got to get off. More than half the period has expired. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Moves the puck. Loses his balance on the play. Abbotsford's got it in their own zone. Slides the pass over to Waters. Keeps a hold of it on the play. The Eagles get a hold of the puck along the boards. Good heads up play with the fake pass. Puck picked up in the open ice. Abbotsford's gonna play it from the corner. Excellent stick work on the play. Great timing to come up with the interception. Oh, he comes up with a big stop there. Puck picked up by Kiro. The Eagles carry it along the wall. He got all of that one. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. Here's a chance. And he denies that great opportunity there. And there's a little stop. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. his own face off and he wins the draw. Stops him cold. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. And he takes the pass. Takes the feed. They score! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift and you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. He's in a high danger scoring area. He's got a bit of time, but he knows he's going to have coverage come to him right away, so a quick snapshot, and he buries it. Abbotsford's gone up by one here in the second period. Now, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. On the attack along the boards. 
real difficult to get to the middle of the ice. Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. The Canucks continue to lead it here in the second period. They have been very active in the offensive zone tonight. Stevens is quick on the draw. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Across the line from center. Takes the shot. Comes up with the stop. Handles the pass. Handles the puck from the left side. Makes a save. Back to the point it goes. made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a great A scoring area. And somehow he hangs on. Handles the puck. They'll change things up on the back end as that's sent in deep. Moves it to Middleton. Receives the pass. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. along the wall by Ivan. Here's a shot. Oh, what a club save. Wow. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Abbotsford's coaching staff must be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. Lots of pucks on net and they continue to lead late in the second. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. Unable to reach that one. Quick feed to Hunt. Here he is on the back. Getting into the later stages of this period. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. And the puck leaves the, trying to gain a step. What a stop on the breakaway. Puck scooped up by Smallman. Quick pass to Cichek. He says, let's get physical on that play. Shot. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Hunt's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Carries it in. They've got the defense outnumbered. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Abbotsford's got a hold of it along the wall. Scoops up the puck here. And he loses control here. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. Abbotsford's got it now. Miners opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. The Canucks have been the more active squad, and they continue to lead late in the second period. Colorado's taking possession in their own end. There's the horn, bringing period number two to an end. 40 minutes down, 20 to go. Third period action is coming up. Are you ready for a walk down memory lane? Then it's time to sign up for our fantasy camp. Play hockey with childhood heroes. It's a fun-filled week full of memories. Call us for details, or you can visit the team website. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. And this one's underway here in the third. Puck knocked loose in neutral zone. Slides it quickly to tries. Sends a pass over. Smart defensive play there. Oh, smart heads up Reed. Tufts carrying it ahead. 
Abbotsford's got the puck. Seachek's moving the puck through his own zone. The Eagles ready to go on the attack. Quick stop by Seelons. Pretty terrific. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Canucks take possession after that neutral zone faceoff. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Battle along the wall. Here's a short pass to tries. Turns it aside with the pad. Steps across the blue line. Tries to get the puck to Stevens. And he takes the dish. And that's intercepted by Ivan. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. James have been closing on the puck quickly. He sends an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. Oh, that's a really tough break for the tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck and it winds up in the back of your net. The Eagles with a huge goal here in this third period. Now buckle up and can they hang on? Oh, I think it's more than hanging on, James. They've got to continue to attack and they've got to manage the puck. I mean, yes, it's the third period. There's a lot of runway left here. It's only a one-goal game. And he takes the feed. Stevens plays the puck. Here's a shot. Oh, wow! What a save with the glove. Abbotsford's played well tonight, but they still trail here early in this third period despite leading in the shot department. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. To the front! Jabs the puck away. And the save! The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Foody. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play and these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Motion to Hunt. Centering pass. Scores! What an opportunity and delivers! Let's have another look at this, James. Yep, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence, just the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on a power play, and as a result, they score. Colorado's got another one here early in this third period, extending the lead to two. Yeah, the sticks might get a little bit looser or lighter right now, but they've got to make sure that that doesn't free them from their defensive responsibilities. Listen, a third period is a third period. You know your opponent's going to be urgent, and you have to find a way to close it out. Good read with the stick to break that up. The Eagles gain possession. Colorado's got it along the wall. Poked away by Hiroshi. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Quick shot! Denies him in front! Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. More than half the period left to play. Colorado's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. And that ricochets off a twig in front. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. 
Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Collins got it in the offensive zone. frustrated here at their play that yes they've hit multiple posts but they are in the lead and they're continuing to get a number of shot opportunities and offensive chances just stick with it and eventually another one will go in they gotta put a pin in the penalty balloon here james them frustrating calls no question about it but they've got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game the eagles once again send out their power play unit and the power play is operating like this, been so successful. Yeah, you can pad your stats. Never knew this one because I was never on it. Handles it along the blue line. And he denied him there. Silas makes a good save and redirects the puck to the corner. And this cleans up the front of the net. And really no trash for second shot opportunity. Throws it in. The Eagles scoop it up along the boards. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Oh, he missed the net. James, when you're in the funnel, you've got that great scoring chance. you got to execute. You can't miss in that area. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face-off. Collins ready for the draw on this man advantage. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Ivan's last play was a tough one, James. He loses his balance, which makes it difficult for him to corral the puck and get it off with precision, but he makes the play. Takes the feed from the wing. The Canucks get their man back out of the box. Sometimes... Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Whoa! Well, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving, and when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping. The Canucks get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. And the puck clears this all. From the open ice, they gain the line. Here's a feed in front. Can't connect the play. The Eagles gain possession of the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Abbotsford's got the puck along the wall. Now a quick pass to Tries. Moves the puck along the half wall. Grabs control of it at the point. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. Quick feed to drives. Hammers the shot. Denies the slapper. The Canucks run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. The home team is really under siege here in their own end. Here's the pass. Again, I mean, it's just a desperation play as he's stumbling and just stays on his feet long enough to be able to get his stick on that puck and make a glorious pass to a player who's able to finish it. Listen, you got to out battle, you got to out will, and that's just pure strength to be able to stay on your feet. The Eagles continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. I've also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Too much congestion in front. Here we go, pucks in deep. Shetterman's taking it from his own end. Colorado's going on the attack as they gain the zone. And now he moves it quickly to Burke. Gets the puck behind his net. And a smart heads-up play with the bank. Handles the pass from the right wing. Taken by Shuneman. Thunderous collision on the play. And look at the bench set up. Gaining speed 
through center, and here they come on the attack. Colorado's grabbed a hold of the puck. Knocked away with the stick by Lennon. Feeds the puck to Wouters. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Abbotsford's regained possession of the puck. Quick pass to Hiroshi. Makes the save with the chopper. Hiroshi, he's made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. Scrum along the wall. Abbotsford's got the puck along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Wesley. Blocked in front. The Eagles gain control of the puck against the wall. Sends it into the offensive zone. Abbotsford's got the puck in the defensive end. Colorado's got a hold of the puck now. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. They put the puck into the offensive end. And it's a quick pass to Walker. Moves it up. That stretch pass is a beauty, James. Johansson's got it in the defensive end. Off a stick and they can't connect. Here's a blast from the boards. Dismiss that chance. Miner's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Grabbed along the board by Smith. Scores! It's in the back of the net! Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Colorado's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. The Canucks take it along the wing. Moves it around along the half wall. Looks to set up at the point now. Here's a short pass to Cichek. And that's blocked away. Oh, a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. The Eagles have it now. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. The Canucks look absolutely shell-shocked after that third period meltdown. They're also deflated, James, but you have to give some credit to the opponent. They came firing on all cylinders in that third period and really put them on their heels. Well, I hope to see you down the road real soon as we say goodbye here from ringside tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.